Hey there! Today I have another short story to unbox. So if you're not familiar with short story, it's an online styling service specifically for petites and this is actually my second box. I did try the service about six months ago and actually I did really like it but I just hadn't gotten a chance to request another box but some of you were actually asking for another unboxing so I decided to request another box. And the way it works is there is a $25 upfront styling fee that gets applied to whatever you purchase and you have three days to try everything on. You get five items and whatever you don't want you put back in your prepaid mailer and once they receive their items back then they'll charge you for whatever you kept. And also there is a style profile that you complete online when you first set up your account. So it is very similar to other styling services like Stitch Fix and those others, except this isn't a subscription service. You just basically request a box whenever you want one by emailing them. And I'll put information about how the service works down in the description box below, along with my referral link, which will allow you to have your first styling fee waived and I get a $25 credit. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what I got in my second short story box. Okay, so here's what my box looks like inside. And you have, um, let's see, oh, this is new. Wow, They're, they um, include a, looks like a tape measure. And it says, accurate measurements help us style you better. Here's a handy tape measure for you to take your latest measurements and it's yours to keep. Please update your sizes here and include this sheet with your returns. Oh, okay, so it's asking you to measure your bust, waist, hips, and inseam and include this page when you return your items. So that's interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll try that. And let's see. So there's a prepaid label and you basically use the box that it comes in to send it back and then you stick this sticker label on top. And there is also a kind of a survey. So you fill this out when you check out. Their website's not like the other ones where um, you can actually check out on the website. You actually have to check out by filling out this return feedback form. Okay, and here's a peek at my bundle. And hey, it looks pretty good, <laughs> I think. Okay, and let's look, take a look at my, looks like a pamphlet. <laughs> So a short story, you get a note from your stylist along with a summary of all the items that they selected for you. So there is a lot of thought and detail put into this. And actually I thought I'm supposed to get five items, but it looks like there's six items. Wait, let me see. Yeah, actually there's six items in here. So there is a note and my stylist is Catherine. And I'm sorry, Catherine, but I can't remember who my stylist was last time because it's been six months. I can go look it up though. Hmm. Okay, so it sounds promising. So now let's go ahead and see what I got. Okay, so the first item is this blouse. This is actually really pretty. I like the print. Is that like an animal print? It's, it's kind of like an animal print, except it's different. It's got all this pleating in the front. Huh, this is cute. And it's by the brand Everly. Everly? And it's a small petite. This is 4672 and it's the Garden Notes blouse. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I really like this. I can picture this with jeans or also with black pants. It does look pretty big for a small petite, so we'll see how it looks. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, okay, it's just top. And this looks like it's mixed media. It's just navy. And this is by Inc. International Concepts, which is actually a brand that you can find at Macy's, I know. And this is the petite twist front top in navy, small petite, and it's forty-five seventy-one. Okay, so yeah, this is actually, I like this. It's very nice. Um, so it's like a polyester in the front, and it's kind of a knit material in the back. I noticed they're sending me all small petites, though. I'm not sure if that's going to be too small for me. So we'll see. Okay, next. Okay, this is very pretty. It's a mustard top. And this is in a size small, and it's by Basil Lola. Hmm. Okay, and this is the Harley Twist Top, and it's $38.97 in the color Mustard. Yeah, so this is actually, yeah, just a very pretty, pretty color. It is kind of this kind of thing in the front, so I usually have to wear something under it, or else it'll be, you know, too low. 
but yeah this is very cute looks kind of small okay next okay it's just this basic top and again it's a petite size small and this is by philosophy and this is the petite crepe knit top and small petite 3464 so 3464 yeah this is very nice I'm thinking they're sending me all small petites and I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna fit me I'm hoping but I don't know hmm we'll see but I do like this this is a beautiful color okay next oh this is cute this is just a nice mock turtleneck sweater this is by Mason Jewels it's a size small this is in the color Sangria and it's 4844 hmm 4844 seems a little high actually for this top but it is a nice I think basic but it might be a little small for me we'll see I notice a lot of the things I'm getting in this box are from brands that I've seen mostly at Macy's okay and lastly Okay, there's a pair of jeans and these are from NYDJ and I do love that brand actually it's one of my favorites and this is a six petite it's just a very nice basic dark wash I don't know what the inseam is so it looks a little bit long and these are the petite Alina stretch jean and they're $58.97 so that's actually a, a good price for NYDJ and NYD they and NYDJ jeans okay so that was everything I got in my second short story box and now I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on and we'll see how it looks okay so here's the first blouse and the jeans and yeah I think this blouse um, it's okay I wouldn't say I'm totally in love with it I really like it when I pulled it out of the box but I don't know if it's the most flattering. It, it is still very big, <laughs> even though it's a small petite. But I mean, I would say it's cute. I mean, I think the length is good um, just for the proportions, but I don't know if it's just too wide. And these jeans are cute. Actually, these are just very nice jeans. They fit well. They just are like a little bit long. So I did cuff them, but I would probably consider hemming them. For these but yeah I think they're really nice I might actually get the jeans and so we'll see they're just nice basic jeans and I do love NYDJ and I just paired it with some black mules and I think um, I think that looks good I think these black kind of like pointy mules are supposed to make you look taller okay so here's the second top and this is just very very basic but um, it's nice it's kind of a stretchy material and it's a rich burgundy color it is a small petite so it is kind of more on the fitted size for me I noticed the arms I don't know they're a little snug I mean I guess I could have sized up maybe to a medium petite but we'll see <laughs> and just for fun I, pa I paired it with these black uh, plaid pants that I got last year from Gap and I really like these pants when I got them, but I only wore them maybe once or twice. So maybe if I had something, I think this looks kind of nice, something more neutral to pair with it, it would look cute. And then also for necklace, I have this, this is another Stella and Dot, it's a rebel pendant. And you see it has this marble and it's rose gold. So yeah, so this is a new necklace that I just recently got, well, a couple days ago. It was a splurge, so I, I really like it. And I think it looks nice. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think this is very nice. I just think it might be a little small. Okay, so here's the navy blouse. And yeah, it is, it's very basic. And it has um, kind of a twist in the front, V-neck. And it has like um, mixed media. So it's a knit material in the back. And I think actually the fit looks pretty good for a small petite I was wondering if it was going to be too small but I think it does fit and maybe that's one thing they're kind of telling me that for petites you're supposed to actually wear clothes that fit versus clothes that's too big which is what I usually tend to wear but yeah this looks pretty cute and yeah I know white jeans but hey it's Hawaii and I love white jeans I tried wearing them with I don't think it looked it didn't pop as well with the regular jeans and then let's also add a 
cardigan. Okay, so, and this is a cardigan that I got from Stitch Fix a while back, and it's really pretty. It's burgundy, and it does have some, um, I think, some navy in it, so that looks nice, I think. <laughs> yeah, so, and then the shoes, just comfortable. These are from Mon Monroe um, slides. But yeah, I think this is actually a cute basic top. Not bad. <laughs> okay, so here's the mustard top. And yeah, actually this is a size small, so I don't think this is a petite size, but it does look proportionately good, <laughs> I think. I thought it might be too small, but it actually fits. And it did have like a zipper here, so that makes it easier to put on. It is a little low. I just have, this is like a tank top underneath, but I'd probably wear a different color. And yeah, I think this is cute. It's pretty. And I just have it with some light wash jeans, and I think that looks pretty good. These are actually from Wit and Wisdom. I got them from Nordstrom, I think, on sale. But yeah, this is cute. And another basic. They sent me a lot of basics, I noticed, which is, which is good. Okay, so here's the last top, and it's just turtleneck sweater. And I don't actually own any turtlenecks, because they're kind of hot, yeah. Um, I don't know, so, I mean, I like the idea of this sweater, and I just paired it with this uh, skirt from Loft, and I got this from my subscription to Infinitely Loft, it's something I purchased out. And I think it looks cute with this. And that's kind of a nice look, and again with the Stellan dot necklace and the black mules. But I think for me, probably this is a no, just because uh, I just don't like anything along my neck like this. I think it feels uncomfortable and kind of hot. <laughs> but yeah, I think the look. I mean, the look is okay. Maybe if this wasn't a turtleneck, it would be it would be better. So, but. Okay, so I tried everything on, and you know I. I, I actually was pretty impressed with this box. I mean, I noticed the sizing. They they sent me a lot of smalls and small petites versus I don't think I got anything that was a medium. And I know, like for me, I I'm only five one, so I'm I'm pretty short. And I typically wear like a size six petite or a four regular. But you know, I know it all depends on the brands. So initially I thought this was gonna be too small, but I think the sizing, it was okay. I would say there was no, no extra. <laughs> Everything was just like, just right, you know? And I like to have a little extra room there, but maybe in terms of what's the most flattering, it's actually better to have items of clothing, especially if you're petite that just fit exactly right. <laughs> but anyway, let's go over the invoice. Okay, so I did get six items. I, I thought they sent five, but I guess it could be six. As far as timing, I emailed them, and I think two weeks later, I noticed I got a charge on my credit card for $25 styling fee. And then two weeks later is when they mailed it out. So I would say the whole turnaround time from when I requested a box to when I got my box was about a month. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you are looking for something for a specific occasion, you need to contact them right away and probably let them know what you're looking for. But anyway, okay, sorry. Let's go, let's go over the invoice. So yeah, the total for my six items was $273.45. Um, and they are giving me credit for my styling fee of $25. So if I were to buy the entire box of six items, it would be $248.45 which isn't bad and I noticed with this service they do not have a buy all discount but to me the prices do look pretty reasonable for what they're sending and I definitely think um, I get the impression when you know for this box and also the previous box that you kind of feel like somebody went out and actually shopped for you like a personal shopper and somebody that has like a good eye because everything kind of looked um, there's definitely a certain I don't know, point of view. I think with this batch of clothes, you know, everything was kind of, you know, yeah, kind of had a theme here, you know, like it's definitely fall and, but nothing was too heavy for me to wear in Hawaii, you know? So, but it still had a definite fall feel. So overall, I think, you know, this is not a bad box. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna buy all six items, but I think there are some items in here that I really did like. So I would say right now, I really did like these jeans and you know they're just very basic NYDJ jeans and you know you'll see that they have absolutely no 
no distressing or anything. So they're perfect for wearing to the office actually. And they have a lot of stretch and they were high rise. These are actually, it says it's called the legging. And I thought they were really flattering. I have some um, NYDJ jeans that I've actually had for you know years and they're still good. So these might be a nice addition to my wardrobe. I might do have other jeans that are kind of similar, I think, but still, I could. I think I could make some good use out of this. And these were fifty-eight ninety-seven, which I think for NYDJ jeans, that's a pretty good price. I mean, I think you could probably find them cheaper, maybe at the Nordstrom Rack, or possibly sometimes you can find them at TJ and possibly even Ross. But it's it's kind of hit or miss when you go to those places. You you might see some jeans from this brand, but not some that are exactly what you're looking for. So yeah, I think these are probably a keeper. I also really like this mustard blouse. You know, I thought this was really pretty. I thought it fit really well and was pretty flattering. And this is a color that I've been buying a lot of for some reason. I go through these stages, yeah. So yeah, lately I've been kind of kind of buying a lot of mustard so maybe I don't know but yeah I like this and this one was $38.97 so that's not bad like a little under $40 for this one okay and I also like this top and this is by the brand Ink which I know is a it's like a Macy's brand I'm pretty sure and this was just a petite small so I don't know if you know maybe a petite medium would be a little better but I mean the petite small did seem to fit so we'll see. Yeah, and this one was $45 for this, this top. Hmm. So I'm going to think about this one. I thought this was nice. I'll probably pass on this, this top, even though this was a nice basic, you know. This one was by Philosophy. Oh, it's only $34.64. But I thought the only thing about this one, I thought the sleeves were a little bit snug. But it was a pretty color and i like this material it's really nice you know you would think it'd be too clingy i don't think it looked bad and i do have my own lumps and bumps <laughs> and i didn't think that this was unflattering so yeah i mean this is actually a possibility maybe i should think about this for 35 that's not a bad price probably not going to keep this top even though it is cute the print is really pretty but I think that it's just too much with all this pleating. I think it added some bulk for me, but I like the length of it and the sleeves were, you know, this three-fourths sleeve is actually a very flattering sleeve length, I think, for petite people. And this top, yeah, I think this is also a no just because of the turtleneck. I think if this were just like a normal crew neck with the same style, it would be okay. But yeah, this turtleneck was too hot. <laughs> okay so that's all I have for today's video so let me know what you thought of the clothes and if you've tried this service before I actually was really impressed but anyway now it's time for me to say goodbye so I'm gonna call one of my two furry companions to help me say goodbye and I think we're gonna go with who wants to say goodbye I think it's gonna be Kaya <laughs> Kaya come and here's Miss Kaya and she's very sweet although I think I need to brush her her fur she's getting some knots even though she was groomed a couple weeks ago <laughs> but but anyway Kaya was getting really excited the other day because we have Disney Plus I don't know if you guys have heard Disney has their own streaming service Ooh, named Disney Plus she's getting wiggly and so we we were watching Lady and the Tramp which is the live version of Lady and the Tramp and she was just so fascinated. She was watching and getting really excited. She was like right there in front of the TV. Yeah, Kaya? Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's all I have for today's video. Oh, oh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of shopping hauls and unboxing videos. And if you enjoy watching those kind of videos, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.